filming a freshly finished organic pool, it's important to illustrate how one emotionally responds to the new watery environment. Normally I film myself by the pool, but on this occasion Gabriella has offered. She is an accountant for a landscaping company here in Dorset and is due in a meeting in half an hour. Although I have the edge on photogenics, it does make filming easier for me, so pragmatically I have agreed. Some may feel this is a transparent excuse to show a good-looking woman in a swimming costume. So, if it helps, imagine me in the role. After all, to assess water quality, I too rub water on my legs for a disproportionately long time. Of course, it's not all water dabbling and sunbathing. There's pool maintenance. There, all done. She's due back in work any minute now. So let's jump back in time, three months. When the only bathing was in a mud bath. Free draining site is the site that you should be aiming for because it will avoid a lot of problems in the future. Now, this is the first of a new series called Shed Solution. No, it's not. It's called Solution Shed. Um, could be Shed Solution. Um, that seems like you're just throwing them away. Uh, it could be Shed Loads of Solutions. Um, but that's like it's got a shed of chemicals, which is probably not the right vibe either. Um, Okay, well, I've, I've got a subtitle. I've already messed it up that way, so don't bother. That's the sort of thing. Okay. Now, with this particular pool, we've got a slope, and this is quite a common occurrence for building an organic pool. It happens quite often. People have a slopey ground. The key thing is that when you're considering the pool, always go with the length, with the contour. It will make life a damp site. I shouldn't say that really. Make life um, what's well, not a damp? Uh, a bit. Well, it's actually a bit like a damp. Uh, it will make life a bit simpler. Okay, so go with the contour. So you end up cutting out a section sort of like that. If you go with the length, which some people do, they just want to point it straight out. Then you imagine. There we go. You've got to cut way, way into the bank way in to get that length yeah so that you could then do your pool uh, actually it's going to be even more than that but you get the gist it's basically minimize the problem by making it the length go with the contour you get the idea um, anyway that was the problem with this pool so the sea's over there and then this is the big hole um, which is just the wrong way round at the moment this is probably my warmest water I swim in this year while Gabriella appreciates the last few minutes in the pool before her meeting her partner Owen is adjusting my olive multifunctional biofilter in a blatant piece of product placement Although this is Owen's first pool build, his spirit has proved to be undauntable and has successfully turned around this challenging site. Well, Owen, you've made a splendid pool here. Thank um, you. It looks so natural, uh, but how long has it been here? The pond has been here three weeks. It's astonishing because it just looks like it's been here forever, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The nature's really actually taken hold of it already quite quickly, which is very surprising from what it was. So what was it? It was a, it was a, a, a slightly marshy bog that looked like, um, looked like it was a sort of a naturally evolved sort of slight pond with a few reeds in it. That's all it was. And then what did you do? Well, the 
No, I'm sure it wasn't an easy story. It's not an easy story. In fact, it's the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. But the result was pretty insane. But yeah, the client just said, could we spend a couple of days digging to see if we could tap into the spring that he thought might be there so we could make sort of a natural clay pond. Um, and as we started digging, I realized that it was not gonna happen that way. Um, and we hit green sand and clay and we made this horrible shape. Um, and then I got hold of you. But at that point, well, at that point, when I turned up, like water was a big problem, wasn't it? The, the, you, you dug here because there was water, but that was actually a big problem. It was the, it was a massive problem. It, it was, it, yeah, it was the, the, the main problem really because we couldn't um, do anything when there's flowing water and there's green sand and clay. Every time we dug or moved or tried to walk there, it just we just got stuck. Couldn't do anything. Diggers got stuck. Um, forklifts got stuck, we got stuck, and it was uh, it was an impossible task to even make a shape. Rather, you know, let alone start getting any foundations in or some construction or mentally get any headway with with what we actually wanted to do. Because when you can't see the next stage, it's Im it's impossible, really. You know, the, but, the, um, the, the, you know, the, the images of you uh, and and your your help my pals, my very pals. strong-willed pa pals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Workers. I, I would have given up, to be honest. Well, well, we were told to. My 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 partner turned up and actually cried and um, told me to fill it back in. And a lot of people, when I showed the photo, said, "Yeah, you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. You need to fill it in." And I had to kind of keep strong with the clients because they were probably thinking the same. If I'm totally honest, but. Um, it's amazing you've 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 got through that really difficult period uh, mm. pulled off an incredible pool. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm really proud of it, and it's you know I can't wait to do another one. So, although yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a little bit easier next time. But, um, yeah. Definitely, it's going to be easier the next time. <laughs> can't be any harder. It can't. No, I don't think anything could be any harder. I don't think no, not not if you see the photos of what it was. <laughs> Well, well done. Well thank done, you. Owen. Thanks. Brilliant pool. Yeah, thank you. I'm deeply impressed with Owen and Gabriella's gorgeous pool, Testament. and I look forward to working with them again. Testament to your excellent pool building. Would you look any last words? Like any last words? <laughs> yes. What a way to go! An yeah. organic pool. See you on the other side. See you on the other side. <laughs> But now is my chance to restore gender balance and appreciate nature's beauty by ending this film with a photogenic sequence of me swimming in this organic pool. Ah, well what's this? Gabriella has gone and made a call and delayed the meeting until this afternoon, so she's gone and pushed me out of the limelight.